morning come from John chapter 16. One verse. One verse. John chapter 16. Ray, do you have the scripture? Yeah, put it up, please. Yeah, there you go. There you go. John chapter 16, verse number 7. You can stand, please. Will everybody be able to stand? Who's able to stand for the reading of the word of God? We will read this one verse. All right. Y'all will see how the, the message that they just sung about in that song is a part of this message. All right. All right. Given God always give confirmation to us. Because see, we as preachers, we have to make sure that we ain't up here preaching what we want to preach. Because yeah. me preaching what I want to preach ain't going to help nobody. But me preaching what God has given me to preach is going to help all of us. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Let's, let's read it together. Verse number 7. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. This is Jesus talking. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you to make sin. The message this morning, the simple theme for this message this morning is you're never alone. All right, all right, all right. You're never, we, we, we are never alone. It is my desire not to stand before you alone, but again, it is left up to the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're never alone. And the reason I can stand on that is because the Word of God says that Jesus himself, speaking in John 16 and 7, he said, the best thing for you is that I go away. All right, all right. Hmm? He said, then when I leave you, I'm going to send the comforter. Yes, sir. The comforter will come. Now, yeah. a problem we have in Christian society today. There are too many Christians trying to operate without the power of the Holy Spirit. Now to clearly understand this message, you have to understand what or who the Holy Spirit now, you have to understand the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost are one. Now, since God has always been, since Jesus has always been, that the Holy Spirit has always been. There has never been, I'm trying to take my time, I can clearly, I can clearly uh, translate this message to you more the way God has given it to me is the way I want to give it uh, to you. Amen. So in Genesis chapter number one, the beginnings, the book of beginnings, chapter number one, verse number two says that the earth was void. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Nothing existed All right, huh? on this earth. Right. It was without form. Right. It said darkness was a color of everything. Right. It colored the whole earth. But listen to this part of verse 2. And the Spirit, I'm talking about the beginning, uh, and the Spirit hovered yeah. over it. Yeah. Uh, this is the origin, the, the origin, the beginning. This is where the Bible introduces God to us. This is where the Bible introduces Jesus to us. This is where the Bible introduces the Holy Spirit. But there are too many people, too many Christians, not following the leads of the Holy Spirit. Listen, 
39. Well, right. In Genesis chapter number 9, listen to me clearly. After the flood, yeah. after the waters had receded, Moses, uh, Noah and his family uh -huh. exited the ark on dry land. God said to them, now it's time for you, my power friend, to get busy. Uh -huh. God said, I want you to move around. I want you to populate yeah. the earth.
Jesus. Yeah. Holy Spirit brings wisdom. Yeah. Holy Spirit brings understanding. Yes, and the Holy Spirit brings us together. Well, well. Thank you, Lord. And I shall be number two. I'm almost finished. Somebody don't take that. Amen. I don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. I heard you say it. I heard you say it. Say it. Leave it here. Leave it here. Amen. Not if you got to skip forward to Acts chapter two. We read how there were people from every nation under heaven. Remember, start it. We got to go.
will never leave you. No, will I. The power, the dunamis, the parity will always be there. See, the Amish job is to make us feel powerless. That's the Amish job, is to make us feel powerless. Listen, and the way he does that a whole lot of time, this way he does, he does it with material things. Oh, 
prosper us. But we have to do it God's way. If you obey God, God will take care. If you don't obey God, God will take your soul. Now you can get your soul taken, or you can get God taken. That's up to you. That's up to you. But God can make a problem. If you don't obey me, I'm going to take it. If you obey me, I'm going to take care of you. That's what God said. And what God said. You're never alone. You're never alone. You're never alone. That's right. I, hallelujah. Thank you for that message. God, come Listen. The Bible said the devil is the master of deceit. The devil is also the master of isolation. The word tells us that the Holy Spirit unites. The enemy creates separation. When the spirit of separation is going through the body of Christ and the members are falling away, it ain't no God. That's from the enemy. But we don't like to hear that. You know why? Because none of us don't like to say the devil using us. When they say they're petitioning, I'm going to make you hear that. When we get together, just forget about everything. Focus on God. I mean, you know, see, it's important for us to praise God. I say this all the time. Because when we praise Him, He inhabits. He comes to us. He inhabits the praises of His people. And is there anybody here that think God can come down and fill this place and does not fill His power? Huh? Ain't no power in me. Ain't no power in you that God can put in a power with feeling is the power. Thank you, Lord. You're never alone. Jesus may be too that. There may be somebody here today that feel isolated. Maybe somebody feel they got too far away from God to get back. You can never, never. The only way you can do that, the only way you can do that, if you get caught up in the story that the rich man and Lazarus got caught in. All right. The rich man was too far away when he realized death yeah. had come to him. The only way you get that far if you die and your soul be lost. Yeah. But on this side of heaven, it's our own responsibility to make sure that we have a right relationship with God. Amen. The opportunity, the invitation is extended to all who listen to the word of God. Amen. And be sure that your relationship is real. Yeah. Now what you mean, preacher? What you mean? What you mean? Uh, I ain't gonna have no problem. You're gonna have some problems. Yeah. You gonna have, but you be sure that it's a right relationship with God, that God, that, 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 that you're, you're doing the very best by the help of the Holy Spirit to live holy under a holy God. Your desire is to please God and not yourself. Be sure about that. Be sure about that. If you do, if you do, God will fix it for you. Let's stand our feet. Let G, let it fix it, fix it for you. Thank you.
Yes. 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 Amen. This is to identify her, her public confession that she made that she believed in Jesus Christ. This is she believed in his death, burial, and his resurrection. That's what going on that water coming about that water signify. She's publicly, publicly acknowledging. Because there ain't no magic in that water. Ain't no magic in that water. You still in case you see when you go by that water, you still be in case you see when you unless you surrender to the Lord. Unless you, unless you surrender. So this she did an identification card today with Jesus Christ. Amen. Raise it. Go ahead and give us some minutes with me in the water. You can take three bites. Amen.